Hello everyone, this is Sumit Goel. In first video, I tried to explain basic functionality of write subfile command. In this video, I will try to explain few more advanced options available in write subfile. If you look at the footer section of write subfile, there is an option F6 is equal to create table. If I press F6, a new screen will be displayed. This is a very basic screen to write SQL table code. Just provide the source file and member details on the header section and column details in the subfile section. So let's say I want to create a table in QDDSSRC. Library is Sumit G21 and table name is SQL TBL1. One main point about this tool is that it tries to fix errors by itself. For example, if I gave column name as first space name as this is an invalid column name because spaces are not allowed in column name. If you press enter to validate the structure of the table, it will try to fix the errors by removing the space. And you can see it populated the data type as character. If there is no data type given, it will consider that as a character data type. Length is a required field. It cannot predict length by itself. If I gave a decimal position with a character field, this tool knows that decimal position has no significance with character field. So it will not throw any error. It will just ignore that decimal position. Let's say we need one more column, date of birth, with short name DOB, data type as date. You can press F4 to view all the available data type and select whatever data type is required. So let's select date. If you enter the length or decimal position with date fields, same as previous case, it knows that length and decimal position has no significance with date data type. So it will simply ignore that without giving any error. Now just press the enter to generate the code. So when you press enter, what it does is it write the source in the given source file and member. Create a SQL table in QTEM and feed that table to the write subfile command. So it has successfully written the code. Now I'll press enter to exit. So it return a select statement for the table name back to the write subfile. Flow of write subfile command is very simple. It has only four main screens. Every screen is very descriptive and very simple to use. This is the first screen where you need to give a valid SQL select statement. It can be a simple SQL select statement. It can be join, common table expression, set operations, kind of anything which lies in the area of SQL select. Press enter. So this is the second screen. In the second screen, you can select which type of subfile you want to write. One is for load all. 2 is for self-expanding and 3 is for single page subfile. Let's say in this case we'll try a self-expanding subfile. Middle section is additional screens. Based on the SQL query given on the first screen, these options may or may not be available. In this case, all four options are available and selected as Y. Bottom section is about search fields. If you want to create a separate screen for search fields or you want to include the search fields in the subfile control format. Press enter to continue. Third screen is all about fields. Here you can define how you want to use a field on a particular screen. You can also define labels for your fields. For example, for field first name, I want a label as first space name. For DOB field, I want date of birth as a label. Press enter to continue. This is the fourth and final screen. Here you define the source file, library and member where you want to write your code. There is an option to change defaults. If you look at the footer, function key F6 is equal to change defaults. If I press F6, these are the default values used by command to create the final code. For this example, let's say I want to use F18 for my add screen. And uh, my subfile heading should be, and I don't want a subheading. Press F10 to update, F12 to go back. Uh, let's say I want to write my display file in demo dspf2 and my RPG in demo RPG2. Press enter to generate the code. The process has completed successfully. 
press enter to exit let's look into the source files so here you can see there is a sql table source so this is the sql table code written by sql table tool inside the write subfile command let's look into display file here you can see rollup keyword is defined because we selected self expanding subfile let's compile this display file okay display file is compiled let's look into our pg source So this is a subroutine which tracks all the key press events for the main subfile. Here you can see logic to handle page down key because this is a self expanding subfile. Let's compile the RPG. Let's call this RPG. Here you can see main heading the subfile is changed. There is no subheading. F18 is key to trigger add screen. Labels are used properly. If I go to add screen using F18. Same labels are used here also. Now let me show you an example of SQL join and how we can create subfile code for a given SQL join. So let's go to the write subfile command. This is a very basic SQL join statement. It is joining two tables T1 department and T1 employee based on department ID from both tables then group by the data using department name and head of department name here you can see it's using two sql functions sum to get the total of salary and then cache that output as a decimal field alias is required because system doesn't generate a column name for these kind of calculations and this utility cannot handle unnamed fields press enter to continue Based on SQL statement given, system tries to find a single table which can be used to add, change and delete records. Mostly SQL joins contain multiple table names like in our example. So in that case, system is not able to determine which table it should use for these actions. So it will not allow you to add these actions. So we have seen the load all subfile, self expanding subfile. In this case, let's try a single page subfile. Press enter to continue. So we have added labels for each column. This is optional. If you don't want to use any label, the field name will be used as the label. Press enter to continue. Let's create display file as demo dspf3 rpg as demo rpg3. Press enter to generate code. So processing has completed successfully. Press enter to exit. Now let's look into source files. Here is our demo DSPF3. Now you can see SFL size and SFL page are equal and roll up and roll down keywords are defined because we created a single page subfile in this case. Let's compile display file. Display file is compiled. Let's go to the RPG. Let's look into RPG source. Here you can see the logic to handle page up and page down keys. Let's compile RPG. So here is the final output. There is no option to add, change or delete. Let me show you the main menu of write subfile utility. Currently, there are only four active options in this menu. First one is to call write subfile command. 
Second option is for tool to write SQL table code. We have seen its functionality before. Option 11 is to maintain data type mapping between different systems. If you want to add a new mapping, you can use function key F6. If you want to look in the details of a mapping, you can use enquiry and if you want to change, you can use option X. These mappings are used by write subfile T to declare variables for RPG and display file. Option 12 is maintained default values for write subfile at system level. We have seen this interface. This same interface is integrated on the last screen of the write subfile utility. If you change any setting inside the write subfile, those changes will be effective only for current session. As soon as your code is completed, all the settings will be reset to their default values. Here you can change the settings at system level. So if you change any setting here, that will be the new default for write subfile. For example, you want to use a same heading for every subfile. You can change your heading here and you don't need to change heading again and again for every code you write. There are actually multiple settings you can change. This section is about function keys. Next section is about subfile indicators. This section is about record format names. These are field prefix. These are headings for each screen. These are default subfile options. Field name for RNN field or field name for subfile record number field.